Andrew here. One of the things that we do here uh, at Bedrock and Brambles, our homestead, is mill flour. I get the flour from a local uh, farmer down in Duro or Lakefield, Ontario. It's an organic, certified organic grain farm. And they grow spelt and uh, red fife and buckwheat and emmer and iron corn and all sorts of fun stuff. So when I bring that grain home um, and then we mill it into flour. Now in a lot of cases they don't have time to clean it for me so I'm buying it straight out of the bin. It's um, like when it's what happens is the combine harvests the grain out of the fields and you get everything in it uh, including all the the weed seeds and grasshoppers and especially in organic grain there's usually lots of extra stuff in with the in with the grain. So if I don't have an option then I will buy the grain uh, by the, from the bin called bin run so it's it's uncleaned so fortunately we have a cleaner here behind me I'll, I'm gonna demonstrate this for you uh, we use this to clean the grain I'm just gonna uh, show you what the grain looks like so this is uh, uncleaned red fife red fife wheat Got a fairly distinct look about it. You can see it's kind of two colored, just like two. Dipped. The, the kernels don't all grow and mature the same way. It tends to have this, uh, those, those thicker, thicker, darker kernels and the lighter ones in there as well. And there's also uh, ragweed seeds in there, and some some hulls that didn't come off in the threshing process. The odd volunteer soybean and some mustard and all sorts of other fun stuff in there. So what I do is we run it through this machine. This is an old uh, clipper cleaner that uh, we picked up. It was in rough shape when we bought it, and so we took it apart and rebuilt it. We tried to make it look uh, as uh, authentic as we could when we rebuilt it. But anyway, it's looking a little faded now. I got We just came out of the winter. You still see we've got some snow. Uh, so it needs some work, so we'll refurbish it a bit. But I need to mill some flour today. We've got a little order for some red fife flour, and I don't have anything clean on hand. So I'm getting this thing running and, and going. So how this works is the, uh, the box goes in the top in there. I still have to fix, I still have to rebuild this hopper. It's one of my list of things to do this year. Grain comes out onto uh, this top screen, which has got fairly large holes. Hopefully you kind of try to size it as best you can so that the, the good grains will fall through, but these big, uh, big chunks end up uh, staying on top and they end up down in this channel and coming out down into here. Now I've got it sized in such a way today so I don't lose too much that I'm getting a lot of the really um, the really pump grains through. So I'll probably just uh, separate these out for now and maybe resize the screen later and run them through again. I use them for seeds of some of the biggest pumpest kernels. So yeah and then on the uh, so it goes through the screen the top screen, all the big stuff, like I said, goes along the top, and then all the stuff that's smaller than those holes ends up on this bottom screen. It's hard to see, but those bottom screen ends up. Got some smaller holes, and uh, hopefully our our good green will uh, ride on top of that. And all the weed seeds, and all like the ragweed seeds and mustard seeds, they'll uh, they'll fall through here, and they'll end up. Out this side, yeah. It looks like this is what I'm getting right now. You notice that it's a lot of mostly ragweed, but we got a lot of wheat in here too. So I'm gonna have to capture this stuff and reclean it as well. It's hard to get the screen sizing just right to so get it really clean. So, anyways, the uh, so the good stuff ends up. coming off the top of that bottom screen into a column of air. So there's a fan here and it blows air up through up through here and so the good stuff comes off the top. There's still likely some uh, some chaff that's the same size as our good product and what happens is it 
all the good stuff falls into this column of air, and if it's a good heavy seed, it falls into the bottom, and we get a clean product. So you can see it's perfect, but it's actually pretty good. Not too much in there. So that ends up, that's our millable grain, and then stuff that's gonna, the rest of it gets blown out onto here. Some of the stuff is kind of in between. Yeah, see that? Look at all the ragweed that made it through. It was going to end up in our good product. So that's why it's hard to size those uh, those screens. So sometimes you can just cut your losses and sometimes you're better off to just remill it. So I'll give you a little demonstration of this. It's a fun machine, it works really well. So I filled my hopper with my uh, unclean grain. Everything's set up and ready to go. Got a bucket to collect this stuff. Down here. Down on the other side, we've got a bag set up. I don't know how well it's going to work. Anyways, we've got this uh, plugged into the shop. It's actually a 220 volt arrangement. I actually I have uh, 220 volts anywhere I want in the yard for the odd uh, motor that runs like this. Anyways. It's one of our fun machines. Just, uh, we have quite a bit of uh, grain handling equipment here. It's just, uh, it's not necessarily cheaper, it's, but it's hard to get organic grain around here. And the, the farm that I get the grain from is, um, they're always behind on things because they're busy. And so in order for me to, to process grain uh, on time the way I'd like to, uh, I have to do it myself. So probably over the course of these videos, I'll show you a few of the other uh, cool little machines we've got. Anyway, so uh, goodbye for now. and. Uh, I think the next time you'll see me, it'll be in the studio, and I think I have a, a new piece of machinery that has arrived. I'm having a hard time continuing working, knowing it's in a box upstairs, but uh, I can wait. Anyways, bye for now.